Disclaimer All the materials and examples used in this video are only for educational purpose. Hacking or attempting to hack anything without permission is illegal. We will use the following hub items in this video demo. Multigo standard transforms, social link CE, and people. For more information about how to access these hub items, please see the description of this video. Now, we are going to look into a person of interest whose name or alias is Praval Punjabi. He's a friend who wants to map and clean up his digital footprint and asks for our help. We will try to find everything about him that is on the internet today. Let's get started. Let's start by opening up a new graph and dragging a phrase entity onto the graph. We will change the input value from default to the target alias Praval Punjabi. To increase the accuracy of our transform results, we will use some dorking techniques and add quotation marks around the input text. Next, we will right click on the phrase entity and run the two websites using search engine transform. This transform queries the Bing search engine, which returns all websites mentioning or quoted search term Prabal Punjabi. Note that we have set the maximum number of results to 256 to avoid blowing up our graph. The transform returned 256 results. Now let's go down the list and mark the ones that are most likely to be useful for us. For example, social media or public pages like Facebook, Instagram, Wikipedia, Twitter, and IMDB. We'll run the two URLs using search engine transform on these website entities to find the related URLs. Now the transform returned URLs of the social media profiles, a couple Wikipedia pages, and a few IMDB pages. We can confirm that our friend is an actor in the Bollywood film industry. We can obtain information from these URLs in two ways. First, we run the two entities IM, IBM Watson transform. This transform will extract useful information like organizations, locations, email addresses, people, and images that are found on the web pages. Second, we run the two images found on web page transform, which finds and returns all images on the web page. Both of these transforms are part of the Multigo standard transforms hub item. Th from the results of the transforms, we can already spot interesting discoveries. For example, the Facebook profile pins the person location, person's location in Mumbai and associates a few artists with this person. The Wikipedia page pins the person in Chandigarh, another city in India, and asso associates Disney with this person. The most interesting result, however, is the Praval Punjabi person entity shared by all our website sources. Let's see if we can find more information pivoting from this person entity. First, we run the to email address Bing transform on the person entity. We could specify an email domain in the pop-up window if we already know which email services this person is using, but in our case, we leave it blank to find as many as possible. The transforms returned a number of emails, including prabalpunjabi at gmail.com. This could legitimately be the email of our target. Next, we can verify the email address by running the verify and fraud check email address IPQS transform. The result will populate in the detail view at the right. The IPQS transform tells us that the email exists and has not been involved in fraud activities. It's now safe to assume that this is indeed a personal email address. Up until now, we have been running this person of interest investigation using Multigo standard transforms, which are shipped for free with our software. However, Multigo also has a variety of third-party data integrations that can be purchased and can enrich and expedite various investigation types. For example, we can run the Skype search by email transform from the social links hub item to find Skype accounts associated with this email. Once the account is returned, we can run the Skype user details transform to extract available information on this account. We now see that we've discovered the Skype account of Prabal Punjabi, who is a 30-year-old male living in Mumbai, India. We even have a picture of him, which will make identifying relevant leads much easier. However, that's not the only person of interest data integration in Multigo. We can now take our findings and pivot from there with People, the largest identity database in the world. People transforms in Multigo take an input such as a name, email address, phone number, and others, and search within their database to find matching person entities. 
From a people person entity, we can further query the database to discover other personal information such as career history, associated persons, hobbies, and more. Let us start with Prabal Punjabi person entity and run the search person people transform. The transform returned a few entities called people possible person entities. These are persons stored in the people database that might be a match to our target. This is indicated by the orange dots overlaying the entities. We show that our target is 30 years old and we have a Skype profile picture of him. This helps us narrow down our focus to these three possible person entities. We select them and run the resolve search pointer people transform. This transform resolves the possible person entities into person entities that are an exact match. To see whether these are actually our targets, we run the expand in full and expand in detail people transforms. These transforms will return all information of these person entities stored in the people database. Let's give it a second to load. And here we go. The two transforms returned a bunch of information, ranging from physical addresses, email addresses, phone numbers, social media accounts, and some people tag entities. Since most of the results are shared between the three people person entities, we can be sure that all three person entities are the same identity. Let's take a closer look at who Praval Punjabi is. The email address the people transforms returned is prabalpunjabi at gmail.com, confirming that the people person entities are accurate. According to the addresses, Praval Punjabi seems to have lived in both India and Virginia, USA. There are a couple phone numbers that we could pivot further from. We also have a couple Twitter accounts related to our target. What can be very interesting is the people tag entities. These entities represent the hobbies, interests, and other notable information about Prabal Punjabi. For example, going down the list here, we see that Prabal Punjabi seems to have shown interest in a few movies and series like How I Met Your Mother, Kung Fu Panda, Batman, and Prison Break at some point. He also likes watermelons. While these interests can seem quite harmless, these nuggets of information from a person's past or present can help us glean a complete picture of and get closer to a person and his or her interests. If we want to know the source of such information, we can select these tag entities and run to source people transform. Based on the result, we know that people collected this information from Prabal Punjabi's Facebook activities. And that wraps up our person of interest investigation demo. This is an example of a personal recon process investigators can perform in Maltia. To quickly recap, we started with a name and found websites that mention the name. From these relevant web pages, we retrieved possible location information and person identity of our target. Next, we found an email address that led to a Skype account, which showed a picture and disclosed a couple more personal details, like age. Finally, we pivot into People Identity Database to obtain more detailed information of the person of interest.